Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In the previous video, I have showed you how you can speak cells in Excel whenever you press enter. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you something similar, but it's really helpful. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can speak cell by rows or speak cell by column. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at here i have some data in this worksheet and i want to cross message with my journal and i want excel to read out loud the data and i'm going to simply match it with my journal book okay so to do that we are going to enable a feature which i'm going to add on quick access toolbar which is this one so let's get started click on file click on option click quick access toolbar click on all commands and scroll down and now add this one speak cells stop speaking cell you can add this one also and speak cells by column and speak cells by rows so you can see we simply added these four options and just click okay in our quick access toolbar you can see these four options this one is speak cells and this one stop speaking cells this one speak cells by columns and this one is speak cells by rows so first we are going to select speak cell by rows so simply click here and you can see it's selected and place the cursor here and click on speak cells account date description category income expense account balance so you can see whenever I click on this speak cell, Excel started speaking out loud the data inside the cell based on the rows. Okay. So if I select here speak cells by column and if I click on the first cell and click on speaking cell, it will start speaking. Let's see. Account, checking, cash, credit, savings. And this button, this is for stop speaking cells. So in this way, whenever I need to cross check my bank statement with my ledger book in Microsoft Excel, and I can simply make Excel speak and simply check my bank statement so I can match them. Okay. So by letting Excel speaking your cell value out loud, you can simply cross match anything with your physical data or anything that is printed. Okay. This is much easier and it's saves a lot of time i think you should try it thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial